Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's MT Predictor video, I'd like to take a look and see how the um, USC Minis unfolded yesterday. In particular, I'd like to follow up on the YM because we were looking at this um, in our MT Predictor training webinar yesterday. <clears throat> First of all, I want to have a quick look to see how we would have done uh, just following the standard MT Predictor uh, trade guidelines of taking the trades uh, in the direction of our STF color, which is our large degree trend uh, indicator. We had a history triangle here, and this indicates a potential trade. We right mouse click over the red cell bar, place analysis on, and you can see that would have been taken in just by one tick, uh, and then would have gone and stopped you out. So this actually would have been a minus one hour loss. Remember, we use correct position sizing to keep our initial risk small under control and constant over all our uh, particular trades. So that's a, an important point to start with is yes, there will always be losing trades with any system. That's important for any trader to know and understand and accept. Then there was another TS1 cell on a red STF and this uh, <clears throat> trade was taken in and the market then started to decline. It didn't reach the first target. In fact, we got an opposing um, TS3 buy setup here on a black STF a bit later. Now with standard trade guidelines we normally suggest that you do stop and reverse if you get trades like this. However later in the video I'll show you that we look at the large degree trend using the higher time frames and that then helps us decide whether we should stay with a an existing trade or whether we should reverse it. So that will come on, I'll come on to that a bit later. So if we did take this trade at the time um, I did actually say that once you got to the 100% initial risk level, <clears throat> you wanted to maybe uh, bring it your stop to, to break even, which probably means this would have been stopped out for break even. But for standard traders, you would have stopped and reversed uh, one tick above that bar high there. So locking in about 1.8R profit. So, so far you'd have minus 1R plus 1.8, you'd be 0.8R up. You'd have then taken this tier 3 buy setup. This would be a very nice trade going to its first target. STF is what we call weak, in other words, less than our grey strength band should have come out basically uh, at that WPT target level and put in the bank plus 6.9R. Can I call that 7R just for easy maths, if that's okay? So let's call it 7R. Uh, remember, this is the beauty of position sizing and when our profits uh, come through, they're large in relation to the initial risk. So here our loss earlier in the day was only 1R and this profit was seven times greater than that. In other words, turning initial risk of $400, which is 2% of a sample $20,000 account, into almost $2,700 or just over $2,700. So a nice big profit in relation to the initial risks. So overall, that's minus 1, plus 1.8, plus 7. So that's almost 8R profit, 7.8R profit overall, which is a very, very good day. Uh, I won't consider that TS4 buy setup because that's basically almost at the end of the day. However, let's now look at this with more advanced eyes. And this is what we're covering in our training webinar when we go out to our higher time frame chart, which in this example is the 15 minute chart. Now what we had on this was we looked at a DP from the prior pivot low, which was here. We had this on the chart as the market just opened and made that new pivot high and then started to decline. And we'll see in a minute how that nailed the very low of the day. Then as the market started to rally up here, we bent back to this prior pivot, right mouse click over the pivot high, place the DP on. But the important point to know and understand is that this DP was on the chart in advance. In other words, it was here before the market actually got to the level. This is the important thing here. These are leading indicators. So let's see how this then changed the, the view uh, with a bit more of an advanced eye. Well, you can see there that our 15 minute DP nailed uh, the low of the day pretty much. The market hit that DP, poked uh, the wick of the, the bar just below it, then straight back up again before it started to rally. But the important point now is to see where these TS1 sell setups were in relation to the large degree trends. The trend was deemed to be up off this 15 minute or higher time frame DP support, but it hadn't reached this 15 minute resistance area. Can you see that? So this is why in the, uh, the webinar yesterday I was hesitant about taking these because the large degree trend on the higher time frame was still up. In other words, it was up into that 15 minute DP. 
Our DPs take precedence over our STF color for the more experienced users because these are leading indicators. So that's why I suggested if you did want to take this TS1 sale, you bring your stop to break even because it was probably against the large degree trend. However, once we came to this tier 3 buy setup, of course this was nice and clear because we hadn't reached this 15 minute resistance, therefore the large degree trend was up. So therefore this was a really nice, clear, clean and obvious trade setup. With the profit target being at this 15 minute DP resistance area, this was again a logical place to, uh, to bank the trade. So for more experienced users, you've probably avoided these sell setups and just had the one profitable trade up here for the 6.9 hour profit. Very, very nice indeed. So a good, clean, clear signal um, off that TS3 buy setup there. I also want to look at a bit more, um, another potential setup or manual setup for more experienced users because as the market was coming up into this level here, when it made the second run up into this level, up here, if I right mouse click, do Elliott Wave Intermediate, can you see how this was actually a five wave sequence? Now if you're a more experienced user, what we teach MT Predictor is after a five wave sequence is complete, you then can get a retracement into the DP from the prior wave four. Now remember that's on the chart in advance, we go back to the prior wave four, right mouse click, place the DP uh, uh, level on and as you can see the market went down to this level very very nicely. In fact this is where this TS4 buy setup would have uh, come in. So if you'd place our manual risk reward around our red sell bar at this high here, down into the <coughs> DP target, that could have actually added another 3 hour profit. So was there a reason why the more experienced users would have considered this? Because picking the end of a 5 wave sequence is obviously quite a risky trade. Well yes there was because that wave 5 high came in at our 15 minute DP resistance. So that's why I'm considering taking a trade here because it's the end of a wave 5, not here because it's the end of a wave 3. So do you all see that? And this is um, a good example of some of the more um, advanced tools in the MT Predictor uh, tool set is that you can actually uncover some uh, more advanced trade setups once you come into our training and you understand um, how to use them. So I thought that was a great example of how you can catch the end of a wave 5 because it was coming in at higher time frame resistance. That basically nailed the very high of the day for you which is very nice and got an additional 3 hour profit down into that point there. So for the more experienced users among you, you'd have had a 3 hour profit off that trade off the high of the day there, end of the 5 wave sequence. You'd have also had this TS3 buy setup which gave you plus 6.9R or again for easy mass can I call it 7R uh, early in the day. So it would have been a 10R day yesterday. So a very very good day for MT predictor users yesterday. And I hope this has been a good example of how basically um, we can use the tools in MT Predictor and how when you have the higher time frame support and resistance zones on your chart it then uh, allows you to gauge the large degree trend so you can be very wary about taking trades that are against the large degree trend however when trades come in the direction of the large degree trend and it's a nice clear clean setup then you can take these trades with confidence. So a good example of MT Predictor at use um, in the YM yesterday and the result was uh, a very nice 7 hour profit and then for the more experienced users a 3 hour profit off that wave 5 high off the high of the day as well. So a good day for MT Predictor on the YM yesterday.